What you doing, Diglett Dreamers? Mather's back for more of Battle Woods. As you can see, that's the team right there. Uh, I decided to put the, uh, to change the little side thing there to be a little bit more clear. Uh, it does have the HP as well, but you know what, whatever. Uh, about to head to Lore 3, I think? Uh, which is pretty cool, I think. I don't know how many floors there are. I want to say like four or something. Bronze on. Hell yes. This is exactly what I want to see. Uh, this is still my first run. Special defense harshly fell. Good to keep that in mind. Uh, Shadow Ball is a clean to a KO in this bronze on. Again, this is not necessarily not each of these battles aren't going to be the toughest. But it is a this is a game of uh, perseverance. <laughs> uh, so Amoongus comes out. This is kind of a weird one. I do have Salamence with the fly, but I also don't want to get like spored. You know, I suppose a grass move is probably more likely coming in than anything. But also check out this sweet team. Intimidate, hell yeah. Toxic. Oh, that's not good. That's very bad. Uh, I will fly, though. Hopefully this is just like a one-hit KO. As it goes for an ingrain. Fly. KO. Alright. Good. Now let's get Salamence out of there as quick as we can. Oh, I don't like that damage. Nidoqueen comes out. What are this thing's moves again? <laughs> I wanted to just get a quick, another uh, bout of this game in uh, because I will be traveling somewhat soon. So uh, I just wanted to see how far I can get with this team. Scratch, huh? Is that just because it has only its learn set or something? What is that? Water pool should probably do a KO of this thing, yeah. Growl, what is this? Why is this like a Nido, Nidorina? Nidorina. Nidoran? That's what I was looking for. All right, defeated. Uh, unfortunately, oh wait, this guy, is this the shop? The move relearner. That's not what I want. Okay, th thankfully it doesn't seem like I, like the Pokemon take damage. I don't think I'm gonna update the I don't think I'm gonna update the um, the HP all the time because that just feels like way too much. I'm gonna try just leaving Surf Edge here just to see what happens. Last chance to turn around. I also did just notice that this Surf Edge is actually a female. Let me try to change that. Oh well, doesn't seem to want to change. And the neck trick. Dang it, why is my only fighting move Final Gambit? Uh, I'll go for the Leaf Blade. I am faster. That's a 2 a KO as I get roared out. Please not a... Uh, I don't like getting roared out to anybody, really. Uh, come on. Oh, no, why'd I stay in? All right. Not, not, not too bad. Only took a little damage from that Wild Charger. Shadow Ball does knock out the Manectric. Miss Magnus comes out. Oh, this is kind of a weird situation. Astonish. Okay, Astonish I can take. As long as I don't get flinched, I get flinched. Come on. No, can't flinch twice in a row, right? Yeah. Lives on one. I could try to strength sap here. Come on, no flinch, no flinch, no flinch. Okay. Hopefully that gives me some good amount back. Okay. Not a ton. Uh, go for a water pulse. Astonish. Okay, I'm still at a half. Cursed body disables it. I don't get flinched, and water pulse takes out the Miss Maggie. So, okay. That's nice. Machamp comes out. Oh.
this is pretty scary. Uh, obviously, Salamence is a pretty good thing to switch into this, but Salamence is pretty weak right now. I'm only, it's the only thing standing between me and a heal right now is this Machamp. It'd be really bad to lose Jellicent. I'm faster. Okay, so Strength Sap lowers his attack, and I'm back to full HP. That's very good. Dual Chop is not going to do any much, <laughs> and it gets a Cursed Body. Hell yeah. Uh, I think I will just Water Pulse. I don't want to give this thing like a Poison Sting Guts. Uh, as it actually gets confused by Water Pulse, hit yourself. Bulk up. I'm gonna go for a shadow ball here. I'm starting to think this thing doesn't really have a move to hit me with. If it hits itself here in confusion, oh, it just barely lived. Uh, but that should do it. Uh, I think I could just go for a poison sting here. It should knock it out from it, that range. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right, we're through. I did not get lucky. That was all skill. Are there wild Pokemon here? I just, I didn't even think about how there is grass here. Does that mean there are wild Pokemon? Oh, no. But I'm going to heal up and we will be on to the next one. Oh, we're on to Professor Oak. Hell yes. Okay. Let's see. Paxers. <coughs> oh my god. Swords Dance, Outrage, Guillotine, Gay Impact. Holy crap. Wow. Uh, okay. Legend. Uh, slightly less tempting. A Scolipede. I don't like its move set, but I already have a dragon. Maybe I should just go with this. I think I'm gonna go with this. That seems really cool. <laughs> Scolipede. So hopefully this will come up. Sorry, editing my little side thing here live. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I think it's kind of busted. Huh. All right, well, I'm gonna try to open that up again real quick. Apologies. That's why I wasn't changing my Surfetch gender, of course. There we go. And this, hopefully, will work. There's Scorpede. And I'll have to... Oops. Don't be greedy. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. to quickly edit this. Okay, no, now it's working. So these guys are both female and this Scolipede has 142 HP. Cool. Let's check it out. Brave nature, that's plus attack, I'm pretty sure. And I have poison points, so no speed boost. All right, um, but I think I see what's up ahead. I think this guy is a tutor of some kind. Combat teachers, yes. I did realize from my first time that I had the ED light and never used it, which is a real shame. Um, oh, I've got a ton of money right now. Uh, this guy has items, right? Uh, I don't really see any of these being particularly useful. So let's go back to these. Ooh, I bet I can get a fighting move. Earthquake. Earthquake would be a really solid choice. A sludge bomb, mega horn. Dragon claw is nice. Dragon 
Giga Drain, Mega Drain, Rain Punch, Bolt Switch, Leech Life. Okay, so I could get two of these, two of these 1500 ones. So I might want to get Drain Punch. I'm kind of interested in Leech Life for the Skull of Beat. That sounds kind of fire. Oh, what? Can't be learned? No. Oh, what? Okay, well, that's a shame. Um, hmm. Well, maybe Dragon Claw? I mean, I had Outrage. Uh, Superpower is a thing, I guess. Megahorn? I could give this to Scolipede. And it's cheaper. I guess I can go for it. Earthquake, also really solid, I'll take it. And maybe I'll go with Ice Beam for Jellicent, maybe? I don't know, I kind of like Jellicent's moveset right now, but I'm gonna take it anyway. I could go with a Flamethrower on Salamence too. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, let's do it. Spending all my money on TMs. So let's see. Oh, I can't have this. Uh, let's do flamethrower. Go ahead and beat that up. I think I'll put this over body slam. Oh right, I forgot. I got rid of body slam already. <laughs> Should I get rid of crunch maybe? I don't know. I'll hold off for now. Earthquake, Shadow, or Megahorn, definitely worth teaching, I think. Yeah, these are weird moves. I think I'll get rid of Agility. I don't feel like that is going to do much for me. And I'll teach it Earthquake too, why not? Unfortunately, Surf Edge not really, doesn't really have the kind of moves that I wanted to have right now. I'll actually hold on to Toxic and I guess Venom Drench now because it's kind of an interesting combo. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there. On to fight a trainer. Another Manectric. Okay. Uh, can Leaf Blade again. It should be a nice to a KO. Let's see what it does. Does roar again. Into Scolipede. I feel like Scolipede will probably outspeed and KO with an earthquake. Nice. Alright. Scrafty comes out. I'm just gonna toxic this thing. This thing feels like a very bulky threat. Goes for a brick break. Uh, what does Venom Drench do? It's not a damaging move, right? <laughs> attack, special attack, and speed. Okay. High jump kick. Whew. Alright, I guess time to stop playing around. Let's see if I can land a Mega Horn. Nice. Oh, finally goes for a crunch. Uh, and should go down to the poison. Perfect. That Mega Horn did a lot. Amoongus comes in. Let's land this Megahorn. Nice! That does so much damage. Goes for the Ingrain to get itself a little back. I feel like that might be in range of an Earthquake now, though. Nice. Okay. Very clean battle versus that person. And now on to the Rocket Grump. It says Rocket Grump every time. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. This is not a regular Grump. That's Giovanni with four Pokemon. Leading off with my Lodic. Ooh. And I have <laughs> the Leaf Blade. Hydro Pump. Holy damage. And the Flame Orb. Uh, I think I'm going to go Jellicent there. Because uh, Jellicent should take a Hydro Pump. 
pretty handily. Yeah. And a cursed body. Wow. Uh, now hopefully, rain dance. Okay. Hopefully shadow ball plus burn is enough. Not quite. Okay. Uh, well, really hoping that uh, there's no recover here. Goes for surf. Okay. All right. So down goes the Milotic to a shadow ball. A uh, good amount of damage on surf fetched and a good amount on and a solid chunk on Jellicent, but I'm feeling good. Because Jellicent, Jellicent levels up. In comes Excadrill. The rain is up. I'm going to water pulse as it swords dances. Please die. He's going to have like a focus sash or some crap. Oh, he lived easily. It is a two of KO though. Withdraws Excadrill. In comes the Gyarados. Holy crap. Water Pulse not doing much to the Gyarados. I think I will stay in and go for a Strength Sap here. Goes for the Waterfall. No flinch, please. Yeah. Rain stops, though. I'm going to try for another Strength Sap as the Gyarados goes for a Dragon Dance. All right, so back to neutral. Do I dare try to Poison Sting? <laughs> okay, Waterfall is doing no damage. Poison Sting, please poison. No, all right, I'll go for one more. Earthquake doing a lot more, but still not much, and still no poison for me. Uh, maybe I'll start going for Shadow Balls instead. Oh, is that Waterfall does a lot, but I curse body it. So that means, so I've seen Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Waterfall, and I just curse bodied the Waterfall with Jellison, so. Earthquake, Dragon Dance, and what would be the last move? I assume an Earthquake is going to come out here, which means I probably could switch safely into Salamence. I do need to be wary of keeping my Pokemon healthy, though, because I don't get to heal after this. Do I have potions? I do not. All right. Oh, if I try to Strength Sap here and it doesn't work out for me, I could potentially lose Jellison. I really should have looked at how much damage that Earthquake was doing. Bounce! Oh dear. Really don't want to lose. <laughs> Jellison, I think I might sack Surf Fetched here, unfortunately. Kind of the weak link in this scenario. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, and then I go Salamence. I can get an Intimidate off. And I could just fly. It goes for the Dragon Dance. Hopefully they don't bounce right here. Oh, it lived. Goes for the waterfall, does a good chunk, but thankfully not too bad as Crunch finishes off the Gyarados. So he's got a weakened Excadrill and something else in the back. A Scavalier. Oh my God, if I had put, if I had put Flamethrower, oh my God. Goes for an Iron Head and misses. I go for the Fly. It's a 2 at KO. Okay. I feel good about that. Okay. Fly again. And it lived. Oh, no. It lived. And Salamence goes down. Are you kidding me? Oh, I think I, think I win, but at what cost? Earthquake takes out the Escavalier. It should take out the Excadrill as well. But I have no revives. So I think that means I lose Salamence and Surfetched here. Yeah, I have no revives. Excadrill's faster, but I live. Oh. Oh, 
he heals my Pokemon. Okay. I contain an ability capsule and a max revive. That would have been nice <laughs> earlier. Uh, yeah. So now I am down to just Jellicent and Skull Deed. Very unfortunate. Uh, well, I do have some. I've got two ability capsules, two rare candies. Might as well use them. Use one on Jellison, one on Scolipede. Seems like a fair trade. Uh, and I think I will use the ability capsule on Scolipede. Oh, I can choose. Of course, I'm going to get speed boost. Well, you know what? Should I? Do I dare? I could go for water absorb. I don't know. I, Cursed body has been working out pretty well for me. I'm gonna hold on to it. Well, let's fight a trainer. Uh, let me just fix the levels here. So I'm at level 63 with Jellicent and level 62. Zatu. All right, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good uh, situation for me. I can click Shadow Ball. Future Sight is scary because I don't have a switch into that. And down goes the Zatu to Shadow Ball. Arcanine. Okay, perfect. Exactly what I want to see. It goes for a Leer as I go for a Water Pulse. Ooh, big, big damage. Confusion as well. Future Sight is coming out here. Maybe I shouldn't have water pulsed. Hurts itself in confusion. I water pulse. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I should have let the Arcanine stay alive by like just going for a poison sting or something. And then the future sight, and then I could have strength sap to heal the future sight damage, but it seems like the future sight didn't come out. I mean, am I just, am I miscounting my turns here? I'm a little scared. I'm gonna go for a Shadow Ball, just cause I'm scared. As a Solar Beam comes out. Uh, okay, I feel like the Future Sight has completely disappeared, so I'm gonna go Scolipede and hopefully I heal safe. The Solar Beam is not gonna do much. <laughs> this is, this is, Okay, down goes the Amoongus. The scary future side just vanishes into the ether. I th I guess I did get lucky. I don't know what happened there. But I get another Pokemon here, which is exciting. Let's see. Togekiss. Growl Pound, Suikas, and Life Dew are its moves. Um, Sunflora. With Double Edge, Sunny Day, Leaf Storm, Petal Blizzard. What's the last one? Electivire with Low Kick, Thunderbolt, Light Screen, and Thunder? Hell yeah, I'm taking that. And I think I even have Thunder Punch, don't I? Yeah, I do. Let me double check. And a flamethrower is compatible. Holy crap. Electivire is such a good pick. Oh yeah, let me do, um, I guess the HP has gone up a little bit. 224. 140 out of Oh, <laughs> I made that incorrect. There. And I am improved. 174. 
Okay, let's take a look at this. Electivire. Rash nature. That's pretty sick. Motor drive. Hell yes. Okay. Yeah, I got some good moves for this thing. Uh, Thunder Punch? I don't know, actually. Maybe I'll go Flamethrower. And I have Earthquake. Oh my gosh. This is sick. Uh, I think I'll drop Thunder. Although I've seen a lot of rain in here, but yeah, I'm going to drop it. Earthquake. mind dropping light screen for earthquake <laughs> let me uh i do have plus special attack nature and i feel like it's good in this to have a couple different options in terms of special attack and physical attack you know what i'm saying uh this is the pokemart i think i will go to the pokemart <laughs> get a couple potions maybe super potions even Can't get any revives here, but I do have one max revive, which is pretty solid. Uh, now, what does the other person sell? I forget. Oh. I'm feeling all right. Okay, on to the next. Let's do it. Fight a trainer. Oh, and I get egg moves next. Come on, I can do this. Nitto Queen, perfect. I'm so glad I didn't switch to Electivire in the lead slot. <laughs> Just sh uh, don't poison me, please. Cursed body, still no poison. Okay. So Nitto Queen clearly seems to not have any good moves, so that's nice to know. <laughs> All right, Jellicent clearing it out as Whimsicott comes in. I think. Uh, hmm. Skullipede, I guess. I don't know what to expect from this. This is a weirdness. Whimsicott's a weird Pokemon. Absorb. Okay. <laughs> Just land a Megahorn. Nice. Fairy Wind. Sure. There's my speed boost. I feel like an Earthquake probably knocked this out. Stun Spore, come on. Of course, my speed boost Pokemon. But okay, Whimsicott down. Another Amoongus. Why are there so many Amoongus? Megahorn is a nice 2 KO. Goes for a Solar Beam. Sure thing. Uh, earthquake. It's definitely a range of Earthquake. Cool. All right, let's see if I can get through this egg move real quick. Do I even want any egg moves? Yeah, Skullipede definitely wants some egg moves. Oh, <laughs> I made a bad choice. I made a very bad choice. Fury Cutter or Bite? All right. What about Electivire, just for curiosity's sake? Fire Punch. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Here we go. Room 12. We will go down. Is that Misty? <laughs> Pelipper. Oh my god. Okay, I feel alright. I feel alright. I can Shadow Ball this. I keep Electivire in the back. Scald, no burn. Shadow Ball is a two hit KO, perfect. Down goes Pelipper, the rain is up. Ferrothorn comes out, okay. Going right into Electivire. Actually, wait, maybe I should have just Shadow Balled, but. Oh, Power Whip, holy crap. I will Flamethrower here, even in the rain, this should, does nothing it does less than half and electivire goes down <laughs> and it's got leftovers 
I'll definitely can't bring Jellison in on the Power Whip. Uh, I will try to revive. I'll use my Max Revive on Electivire here for sure. Ferrothorn goes for Gyro Ball, and I'm paralyzed. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Let's see. I'll go for a Mega Horn. I keep landing him. Iron Barbs hurts. Knock off. No item for me. Oh, with a Earthquake here, potentially knock this out. I'm going to go for it. I don't want to miss. It lived. And down goes Scolipede. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe it brought leftovers. I can't believe leftovers of Ferrothorn in the rain. I'm playing it in a game right now. Uh, I'll go for a flamethrower, why not? I'm probably not going to be using flamethrower too often against the rest of this team. Down it goes. Okay, three more Pokemon. Kingdra. Holy. Do I just lose to that? I outspeed. It's not a 2-8 KO though, and Draco Meteor almost takes me out. <laughs> Uh, but special attack goes down. I think I'm going to try a super potion. Ice beam. Okay. Okay. All right. Use another super potion. I'm taking those hits very well. Goes for a scald. Please don't burn me. Okay. Go for a thunderbolt here. Oh, almost two KOs. And I just barely lived the Draco Meteor. I think I will use another potion here because the super the special tank is so low i need to take advantage of it another draco meteor holy crap i'll use my last super potion okay i guess that's that's the amount of hp i'm gonna have thunderbolt take out the kingdra two pokemon remain <sighs> ludicolo Oh. Oh. That's not very good. I'm gonna Thunderbolt here. It's what I got. It's what I got. <laughs> Focus Blast knocks out Electivire. Damn. So it comes down to this. Jellicent. It's all up to Jellicent. Hopefully this thing doesn't have a grass move. I am faster. Ice Beam. Hello. Cursed Body. Is that a... Please take this. Please kill him. Nice. Okay, Ludicolo's down with the second Shadow Ball. Level up to level 65. In comes Scizor. I'm going to Shadow Ball. I don't think... I think I could take this thing on. That's a good amount of damage and a special defense drop. <laughs> what is that? That's also leftovers. Oh my god. Shadow Ball... Is this two hit KO with the special defense drop? Let's go, Jellison. Jellison, the last one standing, though. Wow. I got leftovers. And now I have one Pokemon remaining. But I'm on to this floor. Level 90. Oh, I get another Pokemon. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna end it here. But I will remove <laughs> my two Pokemon. And let's see, we'll get a we'll get another one real quick. Oh, Mega Evolutions. Oh. Adino. No. <laughs> Banette. Ooh. Oops. Something good, something good. Altaria. Yo. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take the Altaria. Do I get Altaria Knight? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please give me that. Okay, so <laughs> we have Altaria, level ninety now. Um, I guess we'll see how this goes in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Keep dreaming. Goodbye.